What's up, everybody? It's the JAY man. And I'm doing a beer review. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, finally, another beer review from the JAY man. This is what we got going on today. I picked out. And this is going to be kind of a kind of a special beer review day because it's Cinco de Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo. I'm going to be examining the Carbach Love Street Blonde. And this right here, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to be doing three beers three different videos three different reviews different beers by Carbach Brewing Brewing Company and I'm going to push out three beer reviews all in a row never done that before we're going to do it though it's going to be the three beer review Carbach Brewing Company first one uh First one out the gate. It's going to be the Love Street Blonde. Let me get it poured up. I always forget because what if that head needs to settle? Then we'll discuss it. Let's get it going. It's really bright out here. I'm trying to make sure that that timer is in fact going. Make sure I'm not just talking to myself. Even though I am talking to myself. It's just straight up and down pour. It's going to be frothy. It's going to be... It's going to be a lot of head on there. But it's all good. Because we're going to talk while it dissipates. <coughs> and that's what we do here. We do it straight up and down. That wasn't really a very hard pour. Oh, man, I'm trying to plug that. Plug it. Plug it. Okay. We're going to let that settle down so you can see me. Okay, Carbach Brewing Company. It's proudly brewed in the great state of Texas. That just happens to be where I'm at. Born and raised, baby. They use classic German techniques within their brewing process. It's out of Houston, Texas. H-Town, coming your way. The Love Street Blonde is a 4.9% ABV beer. Um, it's a Kolsch style blonde, which I've never had that. Uh, made with German hops. And it's got two row pale and wheat malts um, within that. It is, let me get a little bit more in there. It's starting to dissipate. It's got kind of a, uh, it's not a clear yellow. It's a little cloudy. It's a faint kind of straw yellow, but it's cloudy. It's not see-through, that's for sure. In the 1960s, Love Street, plug it, plug it. Love Street was a hot spot for music and socializing. Now it's a beer. I don't know if Love Street's still going on, and I don't know where that's at. That's just what it said on their website. I didn't go into great research on this thing. I watched a review by the Louisiana Beer Reviews dude to check it out, and uh, now I'm here. <laughs> So, it's got a little bit of that fruity smell. Carbot Brewing Company music. Hey, look at that. Music to your beer. Ah! That's good. I like it. I love it. I love wordplay like that. 16 IBU. Like I said, 4.9 ABV. Says it on the can, too. It does contain wheat, proudly brewed in Texas. 
since 2011. Man. I'm having a hard time with the smell. It's not that faint, but it's just my nose been messed up. It's got a little bit of lacing there. It's sticking. It's sticking. And it is hot today, y'all. It's like 90 degrees or something today here in Texas. Man. Whew. Ready for that sun to go down. Let me see here. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm smelling. <laughs> Sorry. I got nothing. It's ice cold too. It's ice cold, but it tastes warm. That's how hot it is. It started getting warm. Huh. It don't taste real thick. Kind of goes in like a. It goes in like you're just drinking like a typical lager. Then on the back end, you can taste. It's hoppy. It's hoppy. It's corny. It's bready. Probably from that wheat. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. I don't know. Huh. I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a lost at words right now. I don't know what it is. I'm having a hard time, like it don't have a whole lot of taste to it. <clears throat> it don't really seem that refreshing. It's really, it's kind of dry. You know like when you're drinking something and it just tastes dry? It just, just tastes dry to me. Crush the can, I don't save them. Some people like to save them, put them on the wall. I throw them out the... I throw them out the door, man. Mm -mm -mm. I've been doing so many cigar reviews. I almost forgot how to. Re I have forgotten how to review the brew. The Brew Review. There you go. That's a good name for a channel. I wonder if someone's got that already. The Brew Review coming straight to you. Oh, shit. I ought to write jingles. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Very dry. I'm not digging it. Um... It's weird. It's like it, it's ice cold. I had it in the freezer. It's ice cold. It's ice cold going in, but man, it's like as soon as. It, how's it warm? How's it going down warm if it's so ice cold? I don't know. Hmm.
Uh, I'll drink it. I'll finish it. I'm not loving it. I don't know what to say about it. I'm assuming it's an ale. I don't think it's a lager. I don't really know. I did. I should have looked that up. I don't know if Cole style. That might be an IPA. It probably is. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not digging it. I don't love it. I'll finish it. I'll give it a one out of five stars. That's it. Not a nickel more. What do you want me to say? Carbach, Love Street Blonde. I will never purchase a shoe again. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that love you. The J-A-Y man does not love you. But he don't hate you neither. It's all good. It's my palate. You got something to say, take it up with him. One out of five. Cheers. Get ready for part two, baby. Part two's coming up. Peace out.